Festival time is upon us and so are cute mix and match designs. Chrome and stars can be really tricky to master so let's break it down together. Choose your base. I have decided to go with boho which is a nice milky pink colour. You want two layers of that, curing in between each layer for 60 seconds. Nail art is so much easier to get crisp over non-sticky surface, so make sure you wipe away that inhibition layer before beginning. Now the fun part, choose your colours. I've gone with bubblegum, rhubarb and kiwi. Here is a demo on how to avoid a large bead of gel on your bristles. Dip your brush in, then on a palette, run your brush through the gel whilst twisting to ensure that it's completely saturated and now you can paint on perfect lines without the excess gel. Now let's do the stars. They don't have to be tricky. Let's break them down. So you want to paint on an A. Make a small, steady stroke for each line and you want to be supporting yourself with your pinky. That is going to help you make sure those lines are nice and straight. Now you want to join the corners together and then we're just going to fill it in and it's that easy. If you're not happy with how your lines are looking, all you need to do is just drag that gel around with your brush. You don't need to add any extra product, just use what's already on the nail. To get sharp edges, pull from the middle of the star outwards using the gel that's already on the nail. This is going to ensure that that edge is super thin and fine. That is what is going to give that star that nice sharp look. All we're going to do now is just repeat the process with the different colours. So I'm going in with rhubarb, drawing on my A, joining in the corners and then filling it in and fixing any edges that I want to with the gel that's already on the nail. And remember, super important, steady yourself with your pinky. It will act as a stabiliser and help you paint those lines on a lot straighter and a lot more confidently. Star number three, the same process. Draw on your A, join the corners, fill in the middle. That's all you've got to do. Make sure that each edge is nice and sharp. So pulling from the middle of the star outwards. If you don't feel confident enough, remember you can cure between each star. Let's seal our colorful stars with complete base. You want one layer of that, cure for 60 seconds. Then we're going to move on to the part that a lot of you fear, which is isolated chrome. But I've got some tips for you and hopefully can help you out. You have two choices. Wipe twice with two separate wipes using IPA or buff the surface. Personally, I do both. So let's wipe the surface first with IPA, two separate wipes, and then we're going to buff the top of the nail. By now, you're a pro at drawing stars. So grab yourself a black gel paint, and then you're going to be painting on an A, joining in the corners and filling in the middle. Again, if you want nice sharp corners, pull out from the middle of the star outwards. And then once you've done that, you want to cure that for 30 seconds. Top tip, if you make a mistake, wiping away that detail paint is not enough because the gel residue is still on the nail plate. So you need to prep for chrome all over again. So double wipe or buff or both all over again. The chrome I'm using is Long Island and to apply it, I've gone with a silicone tool, but you can use an eyeshadow applicator that is absolutely fine so use whatever you're comfortable with and remember a little goes a long way another top tip grab a dense soft dust brush and dust the excess away including under the free edge any particles that remain will turn your design sparkly and not mirror like float your top coat over the whole design and cure for 60 seconds and you're done. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Let me know how you get on with it. 
If you have any questions or need any help troubleshooting, my DMs are always open, so feel free to send me a message.